Well, is it working? It's working. Hello? Working over Sorry. here. We're live. We're live, Preston. Is it on the phone? Live right there and live right Check there. Check it out on the phone, see what happens. We're live. Oh, yes, yeah, on. Whoa. That's so awesome. Yeah, we're over right. here, we're over oh there. God. All right, go in the comments, see if we have any questions. Or... Nice. All right, hold All on, right. let's introduce ourselves. How does this work? All right. Yeah. What's that? I don't know. Facebook? Anthony. Yeah, we're on Facebook and we're on Anthony YouTube. has something. What, what, the, um, he says Boink is in the house. Boink is in the house? Any questions, all right, guys? Yeah. All right. Well, you got to introduce ourselves, of course. All right. Do you think we should probably turn the volume down? Yeah. Just so we can read the questions? Okay, first question. Hold on. Okay, we got a first question, Preston. It's from James Hindley, a buddy of ours. All right. How long have you guys planned the movie for? Um... We planned a, 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 a fan film ever since uh, seventh grade, mm -hmm. but Eddie and Eddie, uh, that's something like like something that just came to me like in an epiphany, like uh, in early June. And I was like, why didn't we ever do this before? Like Eddie and Eddie, it's so simple, no budget, nothing. You know, you don't need like it like very uh, crazy costumes or anything too expensive. You know, because before when we were in seventh grade, we wanted to make a fan film, but we always wanted to like make like some kind of Spawn movie or something. Yeah, I remember. Like, that. like we're just like we're gonna make all these crazy costumes and all these demon <laughs> characters, and we need some great CGI. And I'm just like, I'm like, okay, we're gonna do it, but I don't know how we're gonna do it. And then, uh, yeah, so June, it's like Ed and Eddie. I remember when we in seventh grade when we were going to do the Spawn film. We had absolutely no idea what we were in for, so I wanted to play was Spawn, but I'm not, of course, the character. I don't look good as a character. I was just going to be this guy singing on the cross. But then, as time went on, we tried out a bunch of different ideas, and they were scrapped. But then, when Preston told me uh, in May to June, we we're going to do Eddie, I said, "All right, I want in," and I was cast as Double D. It was, uh, like how did how how did we cast ourselves as Ed and Eddie? It was just like. I already knew I wanted to play Eddie, but I didn't know like where, where they wanted to go. And then I was like, uh, so, um, but like honestly in my head, I already knew I could see Ryan as Double D and Steve as Ed. And then um, I told them about it, and, and Steve and Ryan were like instantly like, okay, let's be. So like I could see you as Eddie, and then Ryan's like, I want to be Double D, and Steve's like, I want to be Ed. <laughs> so it just like it was easy to like cast that part. I had to do my um, the voice for it which is sometimes in the film if you see my voice goes from like high really high to like kind of low back to high and all that it was really hard but as long as I got the character down I got him down but my voice kind of sounded like from uh of Double D from the first movie from the first episode of Ed and Eddie as Preston mentioned to me and I'm like all right that sounds all right with me all right we got planning, some more questions. planning for Ed was actually very not very not hard at all you know just had a get into that voice, study the character, study his movements, his voice, and kind of adding a little bit of mixture of my own. And the costume wasn't too hard to do. It's easy. Just a, pulp, just a striped shirt. He had his jacket uh, and the jeans and the boots. It was no big deal. And uh, playing the voice was not even hard at all. Just bring out the inner idiot in me. All right, next question from Mike Riley. How many pet rocks did you sell? <laughs> <laughs> the pet rocks. Good question, Mike. Good question, Mike. The pet rocks. Um, well, we didn't actually. We actually did sell one. This little kid actually came up to us after we're done rap after we're done shooting and asked, "Did are you actually selling them?" So we looked at each other like, "Yeah." So he actually bought it for twenty five cents, and we're looking at stuff like, "Oh my God, this could actually go somewhere." <laughs> but but film wise. Uh, we just had some uh, people that were there filming that day. We had uh, Madison, Emily Padajesic, and um, and Joseph Caradona, who played uh, who played uh, Johnny. Speaking of which, his next question, he says, James Hines, he also counted. I bet that purple and yellow polo shirts you wore for the movie were expensive. Were they? No. Um, I actually uh, there was a day where uh, we just like went out to just buy stuff. You know, we had, like, before the day we started filming, the day before we started filming, um, 
We went to uh, how many different stores looking for clothes? Oh my god, oh my we went through we like went through two like, or three. And wait a minute, we went through we went to Meyer, if I remember. Yeah, we Meyer. To, like Jason. So that was that was the first place I went to. I found the uh, purple polo for uh, fifteen bucks, but the the school gave us a. Uh, uh, gift cards, so I had a Myers gift card, so the the purple polo was basically free. Um, but the uh, the yellow polo, where did we where did we go uh, for that? Was it JC Penny? I think it was JC Penny. JC Penny. I got that too. for uh, we also for went, another like fifteen sixteen bucks. We also went to um, oh my god, where did we go? We went to uh, Old Navy for Ed's shirt, his striped shirt. That wasn't too hard. <laughs> um, we also went we went to like many different stores. I about like eight of them to find like the clothing that we need for um another thing for the casting i forgot to mention um i actually we had talked about who was going to play naz and i'm like emily pay jessica she looks just like naz her smile looks like naz her she just looks like naz so i talked to her and i'm like you want to play it by an instant second she responded yes 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 so i'm like all right cool we got naz all right joe joe caradona johnny he said, "Who any? Uh, who is each of your favorite characters in the show?" Oh, that's a no-brainer, is it? That's <laughs> probably the three Eds. Um, I always like I always like Ralph. He was he was funny. Obviously, I liked. Um, oh, I liked, and Ralph. growing up as a kid, I, I liked Ralph. I, just, Ralph. I like Ralph. Naz, and I like Plank mostly because yeah, Plank, <laughs> Plank is my favorite. Everyone likes Plank. 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 Happy go. Everyone likes Plank. 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 Trent, who's your favorite character? Uh. Yeah. Yes, it's Plank. I like the Kanker sisters. Oh, oh which no. one? All which, of them. Yeah, all like of them? All, I have if, I have a, them. if I have a favorite Kanker sister, it'd probably be Marie, the blue hair, because she just looks like a punk. Yeah, oh, Marie. And she, I like how she just looks like a punk and like acts like a punk to so, her sister. Yeah, I mean, it's like questions? the Three Stooges, only more kid-like. Yeah, they're, they, they, they're like the complete, uh, they're like the girl versions of Ed and Eddie, but evil. Very yeah, evil. very, yeah. very evil. Mm -hmm. Heinze also said, I think you guys should be offered a big movie or TV series deal. Well, thank you. Thanks, but James. We sadly, we have our future future uh, schooling out. and careers. Yep, we have separate paths, man. Yeah. So that's why, like, Ed and Eddie, it's like, we just, like, we were all went full throttle with this because, like, like again, ever since we were just, like, kids in seventh grade, we always wanted to make a fan film or something, but... And then this was our last chance, you know, and we didn't let this opportunity get away from us, you know. So like this is, uh, this is our heart and soul in in this movie. Especially we loved Ed and Eddie, and which made it all but more easier to the banking, you know, dedicate towards. Edward Seafried, Eddie, he's the real Eddie, actually said, he goes, who filmed the movie? Well, we all did actually. We all did. All one by we one. all had to do I, our parts. I'm on my on my phone. Oh, <laughs> on my phone. 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 On, on my phone. Uh, Trinity filmed it. She hey. she did. She okay. So I probably filmed like seventy percent of the movie. She she filmed like like a good ten percent, and uh, like uh, they did a, they did a couple scenes. Like they filmed my like a lot of my stuff. Yeah. But like like because then it's like okay well, they you know because then I can't film myself. I filmed the um. <laughs> The, they filmed. Like, they filmed. Like, I filmed the part where Eddie was trying to get the quarter from the ground and he couldn't. Yep. And Steve, what which part did you film? If I can recall, I mean, I remember filming. Didn't you, you filmed me at the park, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah, you filmed, filmed me at the, at the park. Yeah. So like everyone's like a camera operator, but it was all on my phone. And like the hard part is just like trying to like, uh, like, edit the the get you get all the footage and then you gotta like. Put it on iMovie and and then transport that to your computer. Like that's a it's a pain in the butt. James Heinze again. He responded another question. He goes, "Did Plank film some of the movie?" <laughs> yes, he, <laughs> yes, he did. did. Plank actually helped. Good job, buddy. He actually filmed um, the bathroom scene where we're all standing <laughs> in there, and it was hard because <laughs> it was all in the corner. And oh, that was, that was Trinity. <laughs> oh, that, wait, that was Trinity? Yeah, she filmed that. Nah, Which Plank. No, Plank uh, film. Where, where, where we hide in the, in the Porter John? That was Trinity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she, she, was, she was like the, the director of like photography. That she, day she, I was, yeah. She, she was like, or the parts where we're walking and like you got the handheld camera, that's her too. Which part did Plank film? I don't know. <laughs> Plank was somewhere. I, I don't know. He did something. I, I just, I mean, it's the quiet ones, I tell you. <laughs> yes, this is Plank. Yep. <laughs> 
Yeah, I brought Plank over. Hi, say hi, Plank. Yeah, Plank says hi. <laughs> Where's Giant Two by Four when you need him? I don't know where he's at. <laughs> um, any other questions? I'd love to answer a lot. Yep. Um, I thought we were gonna get some more. I mean, honestly, we're putting it on YouTube. We can ask more questions. We can just answer from comment wise. Do we have any questions from YouTube we can ask? Let's see here. Yeah. Do we have any good moments from the show, from filming Ed and Eddie? Oh, are you kidding me? There was tons of great, great moments. Like, uh, honestly, the Porta John scene was one of them. <laughs> the Porta John scene was so much fun. Um, it was, it was actually yeah. the most big Porta John I've ever seen. It, actually, as gross as we made it seem to be in there. It was. It's a very. It's a very nice spacey. It's got a lot of room in there. I had enough room to fit the the, the, the tripod and the camera in there. iPhone, not really a camera. Um, but um, and it didn't really smell that bad as we made it seem to be. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't really that stinky. Oh, that was a nasty. I mean, it didn't smell too bad in there. I was like, it, I thought it would smell like a whole dump or something, maybe even worse. But obviously, it wasn't that bad as I thought. It's really spacious. Yeah, and. I actually did get a question before, like, before this week was here from a friend by the name Alyssa. She's at camp right now. She asked, um, how did you guys prepare for costuming? Oh, oh was... we can't take credit. We can only take credit for ourselves. So that's why in the, the credits I put costume designer everyone. Because yeah. everyone basically designed their own costume. Mm -hmm. um, I had, like, like, an idea for me was, like, uh, like, um... Make sure like it's accurate. The colors are the same. It's like the same kind of style of clothing. But um, it's um, but the uh, but it's like updated and modern. So like uh, like like of course I didn't wear like a bowling shirt. I wore a, a double polo instead. And of course like Ryan didn't wear red socks. He wore purple socks. You know, just small stuff like that. Yep. Me as myself, I mean, I don't. I wore the 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 coat, the, but supplied by him actually it was his coat until he gave it to me because I didn't have a green <laughs> coat. I had my jeans, of course, and the shoes wise, he also supplied that. Uh, Presence Rod so I supplied that as well. My socks, just standard white socks. Uh, the makeup wise, to be honest, to be honest, it was just a um, a little. What was it? A, what was that Preston that you used a marker? For the uh, uh, monobrow, it was a uh, eyeliner pen. Oh, an eyeliner pen. I, I use that on. Uh, mm -hmm. I use that on Eddie. I mean uh, Ed and Ralph. Yep. <laughs> that uh, was fun. Yeah. Do you remember going to the gas station and the guy being like, "Is that real?" Oh, was, I remember that. That was so. No, it was eyeliner pen. We're just walking around. Yeah, yeah. That was that creepy. Was oh, that, that was, was kind of like. No, it felt so awkward to me. I'm just. I look like a complete dork and. <laughs> dressed in a beanie cap and shorts with purple, long purple socks that like reach up to my knees. That felt so awkward. I had, I want to like run out. Really Everywhere quick. we go, we look like idiots. <laughs> oh yeah, we especially go, we, me. We go to the park and like people are having like a family picnic, like a big family picnic. It was like a reunion or something. And, and then like there we are. It was a birthday. Actually. Looking like idiots. Oh, it was a birthday. Yeah, it was, it was birthday. Some presents or something. I don't know. It was, and it was like it's like. We, we're embarrassed to go in the gas station, but we just kind of, we like, Stuck we got to get, get this done. <laughs> yeah, we got to stick it out. Especially, it's really, it, it, it was like 90 degree weather, oh 95 God, degree weather it filming. It, it gets hot and like double polo. He starts sweating his monobrow off. Oh, that was terrible. <laughs> it, looked like a, it looked like a, it looked like a, no, it looked like a black teardrop. He just like cried from it. it yeah, so I, looked like, I looked like a, um, I don't know how do I describe it as, but okay, I don't care. We got a question on uh, YouTube. YouTube. Oh yeah, what's up? Read it? Uh, how long did it take to edit all it all together? So okay. that that's from a uh, TX uh, Wolf, Wolf 316. Hope I'm saying that right. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, it man, it took two months because like we 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 film stuff periodically uh, through you know like the, the the two months we were filming. Like, whenever we get something filmed, I try to edit the scene the, together in iMovie as quick as I can. So then I get that scene uh, together. But then sometimes 
we went back and we like shot some additional stuff. Yeah, like, it took like, us like a day. Yeah, it like took us like a day. Yeah, we shot uh, stuff like uh, in the like the, the parts the Kinker Sister scene where we're in the Porter John and you actually see us inside the Porter John. That was a different day than the day we actually shot the Kinker Sister stuff. So uh, editing, it's not it wasn't hard to do on iMovie because the format's so simple, but the the pacing of it is it, it took two months all together. Like, as soon as we were done filming, the movie was basically done because I was editing it as we went along. And then, like, somewhere around the end, like, a, like an additional two hours uh, um, the day before I uploaded it, I added some more movie, uh, m uh, more music and sound effects. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's, that's, that's uh, about it. If you notice how in some different scenes, I mean, this is also part of the question, if you notice some scenes how Ed's hair was, like, short, then long, then short again, that was a major issue for me as, <laughs> because, first of all, my, my ma shaved my head. No, yeah, it was my ma shaved in my head, and that's one of the first days. That was the first day. Which is the Pet Rock scene. Then um, then, then you see the next scene, the Canker Sisters. That was like filmed like weeks and weeks later. My hair kind of grew back, so <laughs> obviously that was a major you editing can, continuity problem. You can also see my hair, like some parts of it, it's like dark, another part, like it's like long, short. And also my hat, you can see how like position that like from like really like down to my eye, almost my eyebrows, then up again and down up. It's Major like, continuity for Double D is that um, he, uh, his shorts, uh, like they got they shrunk because like uh, he he washed them and then they they dried, and he dried them and then like they got like really really short. So, so like, 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 like me, you notice at the beginning of the film, like my my um spikes are like smaller, and then they just like get bigger. They got bigger, right? <laughs> the movie went. Oh my god, we got some yeah. more questions here. Oh All wow, right. okay. Sweet. Ask more questions on that, bro. Um, okay. I'm sorry. Okay. So uh, is it is Gasper? Gasper, us to Host you. How do I pronounce Hostier. Hostier. How much How much money did we spend to make the film? About in total. Budget wise, I think we spent about like for your shirt. Wait, does that count or no? It's like okay, so I think it was uh, about thirty-five bucks for the two shirts. How much? For the rocks and the googly eyes. I, the, the googly eyes were like a dollar. Yeah. The dollar tree. What yeah. about the what about the gum that sticks onto the rocks? The gum. That was like that, fifty cents. Uh, yeah, I, that's about fifty cents. But so I had that. But much. I had that. But I had that in my car. And total so, per diem was like fifty bucks, I guess. So a well, fifty low, a fifty buck low so, budget. So I guess about fifty bucks. <laughs> fifty bucks. How much did I spend on gas driving, and did we all collectively spend oh, driving? A lot. We also had. Um, we got two more questions from Facebook, by the way. Uh, Anthony says, "What gender does Plank identify as?" And if you were to make another movie, what show would you base it on? Let's well, start with you. Another movie. That's oh a tough God. one. I, mean, I would actually one. do. Actually, I'll start it. I'll take Johnny Bravo as one, because you know, I do kind of see myself as that muscular, macho man sort of butthead or something. I don't know how to put it as. Um, or, I mean, this is an '80s cartoon. GI Joe, I definitely do. <laughs> yeah, me as color commander. Woohoo! What would you do, Ryan? Um, I actually got three. Um, the one I really wanted to do. Was uh, a Beavis and Butthead live action? Oh God! It was a live action. I would actually, <laughs> I would have done it. I would, I would actually take a or lot. Or South Park. Oh yeah, South, South Park. Park. It'd be between Beavis winter. and Butthead and South Park because those are like the awesome. Like I could definitely see you as Cartman. <laughs> what what, what were the other three? Don't go into too much detail. Um, the other ones would be um, Inspector Gadget. Inspector. Even though they did like the shitty time on the first movie and the second one, oops, <laughs> and the second one was better. But if I want to do it. I wanted to make it more like the cartoon accurate, and I can do a really good Dr. Claw and the voice, but I'm not going to do it right now. Okay. And the third one, it'd be between, um, oh my gosh, it would be like Conan Kids Next Door, or another Cartoon Network show that we mostly like, but for the time-wise and money, it's going to be a lot hard. I All would right. not do a Nickelodeon show. Okay. Right, next YouTube question. Whoa, okay. Okay. Okay, we got some more yeah. questions for, uh... Gasper Oster. Gasper Oster. What soft right. And uh, he asked what software or program you use to edit the film. Because I use Sony Vegas Pro 13 to make my edited videos. I, I, I used uh, iMovie, surprisingly. And it came out really, really good. I was originally, I, I'm not like, I, uh, I, I have a, on my computer, I have like a really crappy outdated computer. I used, <laughs> I, 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 I used, uh, I was using a, uh, uh, movie Maker, uh, HP or whatever, I don't know. And um, it, like the quality was coming out really, really bad. 
and like um, there was like between like transitions there was like always popping like between like uh, the clips and I was like it's not coming out good so I had to think of a different way and I used iMovie on my phone and it came out really good I'm really happy with how it came out Joker Nona asks approximately how long did it take you guys to decide what the plot would be a quick question okay well uh, I'll give you a quick I, answer I thought about it like when I was in the shower <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to so 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 like 13 minutes just like thinking like what could happen but I originally didn't want all of the characters from the show in the movie. I know party pooper, uh, but but I but like I because I knew like how challenging it would be to get people together, um. So like I like it was like like really simple, and then like uh, when we went to write it like 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 a couple days later, mm -hmm. yeah. Like it was like your guys' suggestion that we have all the characters in the show, and then like as I was writing it. Like I started like thinking of people from uh, the Armada High School Theater Department that I know could play these parts. Yeah, because they're really good at playing characters. And I was characters. like, I was like writing it, and I'm like, I could see this person playing that, and um, yeah. So I, I don't know how long, like maybe like three, four days. Yeah, three, four days. I came up with the what the episode title would. Is going to be called, which is another day, another Ed. He came up with that another day, another Ed. Mm -hmm. Because I, I. I was like, hmm, that doesn't sound pretty nice. Because, like, I went to them, and I was like, I, I don't want to call it Ed, Ed, Eddie the movie, because uh, staying faithful to the show, and, and every episode title, that there, Ed is in there somewhere. Like, oh, yeah. Like, like, oh, yeah. Like, uh, the Ed Touchables. And, uh, not the, the day the Ed stood still, which is that one's Ed my favorite. Go. Oh, next question. Okay. Um, Captain Fusion loved it so Funny, keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, also, Captain Fusion asked, "Will there be a second movie?" That is on the. That is kind of probably not. Probably. No. Not. I'm sorry. Maybe. What? Maybe in the future, once we all get uh, done with college, Life I situated. guess. Situated. Yeah. yeah all situated that. out. Oh, but like, uh, want to just say like what we're going to do? Mm -hmm. Probably just film as all adults, like what they've been doing in their adult lives. Yeah, yeah, something like that. That'll be funny. But uh, Steve, like, you're going to the Navy, right? That's right. He's one. he's going to the Navy. When do you? Uh... September seventh. September seventh. I leave. I go to college uh, August twenty first. I'm going in to Macomb and then Wayne State for radiology for both two years. I'm doing the nine to eleven classes, and I can get time off. But while these two, while he's in the Navy and he's at college, I'm living. I'm, actually, I'm living on campus. I'm actually gonna make. It's about an hour away. Um, I'm actually thinking about making a spinoff. Of which is Captain Melonhead, which is was who was in the show because I have a lot of time. That would be a good idea. Yeah. Well, I'm, well, it makes me want to cry that you guys are going to be gone I and know, I'm just going to be the so only sad. ad. What? But I'm still I'm still going to be hanging around the Armada theater pe people and say, hey, you guys want to make Captain Melonhead? I believe hey. Joe. I actually talked to Joe the other day and he's like, I'm so in. So maybe a Captain Melonhead spin off. Yeah. I'm going to help do Next Captain question. Melonhead. Next question. All right. All right. Um. Gasper Osser, imagine making the Ed, Ed, and Eddie had South Park neighbors. Oh, the South Park God. neighbors? Yeah. Oh, the show, wait, the wait, show would change Ed, 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 and Eddie outside the cul-de-sac. Yeah. <laughs> they move into South Park and they, they look at everyone and they're like, what's going on here? What? That's going to be like a big mishmash. <laughs> and there'd probably be a lot of... Uh, Cartman just language. starts swearing. Cartman and Eddie get into it. <laughs> double, d double D in uh, Stan. Do you think they'll team up and like become evil or something? Something tells what me no. <laughs> no, I'd say Professor Scam, which is that's Eddie and um, Professor Chaos would team Robin, up. In the episode Robin <laughs> Ed, which Professor Scam, Professor Scam teams it, it, it up with, with the coon. With the coon. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say uh, Captain Mountainhead would probably team up with. Um, I would say Miss. No, Mysterion. Mysterion. Yeah. I would say Mysterion. Uh, um, Anthony says, is Ed and Eddie your guys' favorite cartoon? Yes. Dude, Ed and Eddie, I love that show. I love Ed and I love Eddie. I love that show as a kid. As, as a kid, just countless hours of... Oh, you, you, you just sit back with Besides your mouth that, open. Besides that, Johnny Bravo me. and uh, Beavis and Butthead, South Park, The Simpsons. Courage and Cowardly Dog. Courage and Cowardly Dog. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. Code Name Kids Next Door. That's my, that's my jam. Oh. Code Name Kids Next Door? Oh, yeah. oh, I love Code Name Kids Next Door. Um, I remember... When the Big Picture show came on in 2009, I was me and Steve were with our cousin, 
in his basement watching all the episodes nonstop in like five, maybe six hours, and then the big picture show came on, and we're like so excited. We're like, yay! Next one. All right. Um. Uh, Planet Sim, this is not to, not meant to be an insult, but till the guy beside the woman, I thought he was female. He kind of looks like a 45-year-old Texas brown with seven kids and just as many guns. Yeah, you're beside What the me. heck, man? Yeah, not an insult, mm. but it kind of still feels like Man, that hurts. Yeah. <laughs> that coming deep. You know what? I'm gonna come down there and I'm gonna scam you so bad right now. <laughs> like, so rethink your comment next time, yeah. buddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. right. B Poor asks, "Will you do recess next?" I would actually love oh. to. Oh I would. Lo I grew up on recess, and oh. I was thrilled. I would actually do it. I'll do it if we had enough time, though. Uh, no, man. But, no, I can get other people to do it if they want to. Besides, you two are going to be gone. It, we'll just yeah, be producing. I have to ask the Air Maid of the Theater Department to see if they can put something together. Yeah, exactly. I would actually join in because I love Recess. I love the characters. I love the story plot and how it's all set in. That would be really nice. Is there any Good request, by the way. Is there any Good more request. comments on Facebook? No. All right, just so, Steve, you should just, just what we got here. Gasper Osser. I'm it, sorry if we like really butcher your name. But keep going with the good questions, yeah, but keep going. Um, sadly, it. there's too many Teen Titans Go on Cartoon Network. Sadly, there is. Sadly. Oh, I hate that show. Mm -mm. Don't watch Don't Teen watch Titans it. Go. It, watch the original. Watch, the, watch original. the original. I, I respect the voice actors. Yeah, I respect I love, them too. I love, but, I love, I love mm -hmm. the voice actors. I let, Is it the same voice actors? What do I know? It's all the same. I mean... I don't like the style of it. And then B Port asks, maybe you can do Arthur. Um, how can we do that? <laughs> but so uh, we all have to wear masks, just walk around with a bunch of I, I have some special <laughs> effects, makeup skills, but uh, yeah, you, that, that's too much money. Just, just, <laughs> just, <laughs> just you should just and, shave my head and just glue ears. I've been, and I've been like, hilarious. like, like uh, we already said, I'm going to college for uh, at a uh, University of Detroit Mercy. I got a uh, hundred. Eight thousand dollars scholarship to go there, so I'm a, that's uh, that's a four year degree living on campus. Ryan, they're going in for radiology, becoming a radiologist, the the real Bruce Banner. <laughs> I'm real, I'm going to um, the Na United States Navy, and I'm probably gonna be like the real the GI Joe here. No, like more like Maverick from Top Gun or uh, Alex Hopper, Stone Hopper from Yeah. So we're, so we're just not gonna have any time, and uh, yeah, th this th like we wanted to make movie the, the movie since we were. Uh, like in seventh grade, mm -hmm. um, and this was our last chance to do it, so we just we did it, you know. Yep. Joe Caradona, Johnny at or Johnny two by four. She asked if Cartoon Network ever remade Ed and Eddie, would you guys be excited or mad? That's a mixed thought okay. or question. Okay. If the animation style is the same, mm -hmm. where it's hand drawn and it's kind of like shaky. That, yeah. That, yeah. Doctor Katz. And, and and Danny Anchinuti is the guy that like is like directing it still and like and brings it back. Yeah. I would I'll be, be excited. excited. And uh, and they have kid. the same voice actors. Mm -hmm. if, I would be excited like a little kid. Same voice actors. I'd be excited. Same like, cast. Yeah, I'll be I'll be excited like a little kid in Christmas. <laughs> same cast. Next question, Trent. What's it? Okay. Gasper Osser, my next edited kids next door edited. I don't know if that's a question. Beport, take my breath away, Nathan. Oh, he's oh uh, yeah, he um he has a he has a channel. I checked it out. He does. Um, I haven't really watched any of his videos yet, cause I, cause I just like guy. got home from work and I had to go out to a well to a my grandpa's the anniversary. Song title reference from Top Gun. I give the thumbs up on that one. Be <laughs> 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 poor. That's him. That's okay. Name for a channel. What does it say? This oh, it says. Take my breath away, Navy guy. <laughs> <laughs> I just got to oh say that. Oh, that's That's hilarious. That's awesome. Whoever wrote that was awesome. <laughs> I was trying to say it is awesome. You're just trying to read all the comments. What did it say? Dead silence. Oh, uh, a, a planetesium that, that was, was cold, cold man. man. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Yeah, dog. Yeah, dog. <laughs> yeah, dog. Hey, dog. Dang. Dang. Mm. <laughs> watch your profanity. Watch the language. <laughs> All right. Let's watch it. This is rated PG. Yeah. Well, besides, we can ask each other some questions. It's now almost two o'clock. It's almost yeah. two o'clock? Oh, yeah, we got two o'clock. 
Do you free. have any more questions? Um, um, I actually. Well, B Port asked, "Do you miss high school?" Uh, I'm still in high school, so. Yeah, you're still <laughs> in high school. <laughs> going. This, this is my. This is my. This is my sister. She played Sarah, and so like I had, I, like uh, she she had no escape. I was like, Trin, no. I need you to film today. I need you to film us. Uh, we, we have no one to operate the camera. Trin, we're going to shoot your scene today. Trin, we're going to shoot your scene, you know, whatever. So um, that, that was a good thing, you know. Like other people, I get to like text them and be like, hey, are you available today, um, uh, this Wednesday or Sunday, uh, blah, 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 blah. When he just and, has and they, to they, they yell just... down the hall and say, Trin, let's go. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Yeah. So, but do we miss high school? Somewhat yes, yes most and no. Part is, no, because I'm just glad I don't get to see those buttholes at school anymore. <laughs> <laughs> there are a bunch of jerks at school I just don't want to deal with them. Right, I, there I, were some kids too. I'm, 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 I kinda but do. I promised myself to my friend, especially my best friend here, I'm going to see him almost a lot through my whole life, and I'm ready for that. I'm ready to see you. Like I promise you, every two Sundays, oh. like one Sunday you get to have a break, another Sunday we get to hang out. You get to have a break <laughs> from you. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Because you just got home. I'm gonna be busy with the uh, theater program at U of D. Um, mm -hmm. If you have any, uh, if you have a show, I'd love to go see it. Like when I when, when we uh, graduated, I like missed high school immensely. I was like, oh man, this is gonna. Like I was scared. I was scared, I was like, scared like, too. Like, like I, I was scared, but then like I went to uh, the orientation at U of D. And like now I'm just like I'm kind of excited, mm -hmm. and uh, and it seems like it's not gonna be as hard as I thought, but I don't know yet. Um, kind of like me. Yeah, I'm. S I kind of I kind of miss high school. I miss the uh, the friends I had in the theater department. I do too. Uh, I, I, I miss I miss uh, some of the teachers. Mm -hmm. Me too. I agree. I miss some of my teachers too. I miss my teachers. Like. Like, I was, like, all, like, really scared when I got out. Like, I was like, oh, gosh, what's going to happen now? I know I'm going to go into the military. I knew what my life's going to be. But, honestly, it's those things that you couldn't see. It was, like, really you're going in blind, like, going through, a, like, a cloud of smoke. And so I went to a debt meeting where basically the whole division or whatever it was from the state of Michigan comes to this one spot. And they tell us what boot camp's going to be like, what your job's going to be like, what's going to happen to you at boot camp and beyond. And I'm like, oh, Wow. Now I know what's going on. I can see clear. <laughs> uh, for me, yeah, I was, like, in that scared position, too. Like, I almost turned white. I'm like, what am I going to do? Where am I going to go? Who am I going to see? But once I got everything in order, I'm like, all right, I feel fine, but I still feel scared. My friends told me who graduated previously before we did, they said the gates open, and then once you step out, it's locked forever. Like, you cannot get back in. And I'm like, oh, I'm ready. They're like, you ready to get out? I'm like, yeah, they're like, you're not going to be. They were right. I was not going to be ready. So we got any more Facebook stuff? Mm, we should. No. I want more Facebook. All right, what we got here? Gasper Oster, who saw the new Powerpuff Girls episode of a lesbian scene? What? No, I, I don't. I don't watch Cartoon Network. We don't Network. watch. I don't, I don't watch Cartoon nowadays. Network. So not, not, not nowadays. I, uh, nowadays, what they did. We're, we're too busy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And basically, Eddie. like, or the new shows, or the new shows has gotten mind numb. They just got really. I mean. I respect Steven Universe and Adventure Times now over, but I just don't have the potential feeling to watch Cartoon Network anymore. The only reason I watch it because of reruns, if it's ever on, or I just go online and watch them. Or when they play Big Picture Show. Or they oh, play yeah. Big Picture yeah. Show. Or they put yeah. Big Picture but Show. But right now, they Cartoon Network, it's just got really stupid for stupid for uh, the generation that we grew up in. And I don't know. Did like the generation back then like say that about our stuff? Yeah. Probably did, yeah. Yeah, the generation, Possibly. like today's generation, they look at us like, like we did like the awesome things, and then they get like, this new, hip stuff, and it's like this is ridiculous. Yeah, well, when you're a kid and you grow up with it and you kind of learn to love like the voice actors and oh, the characters yeah. and the cartoon itself, and then you see other cartoons and you're like, you're so in love with the other ones, you just are like, not as awed by the other cartoons, as you were with. The cartoons you grew up with. Right. Yep. I agree. Joe Caradona or Johnny again. <laughs> Johnny too. I'm just gonna call him that. Johnny too. By the way. How hard was it for you guys to make the intro? The intro. The intro. Oh, okay. You know what was hard about it? It being like 95 degrees. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> plus, plus doing the movement, kind of the movements and the timing. You know. And the, yeah. the camera. Uh, like like keeping keeping the time and like popping into the the frame and staying in the frame, and like. 
Uh, there's I, like we knew there was things we can and can't do with this. Like I cannot stand on my tongue, and we can't dye our tons either. Like what? Like no, I, I, I have a green ton, and, and like and like I couldn't let him wear the green jacket. He had to wear like a gray car Carhartt. I remember that. That was because oh, because like you can't wear so any green. Sweat. Um, and we could have fall from the when we're on top because we, that was probably. But thank you to Patrick Caparuso. He's the uh, our uh, my, uh, my drama teacher's uh, husband. Mm -hmm. uh, very nice guy. Really I'm awesome. so thankful that he let us uh, come over his house and use his green screen. And he shot it. And he then shot he, it in he, his and, backyard. And then he uh, applied the backgrounds to the the green screen because I didn't know how to do that. But all of the uh, the words popping up and stuff to the tempo and and like. Uh, and like all the animations and stuff, like the screen flipping, that that was that was all me. I did on a, we a actually, movie maker. We actually shot in his backyard. Yeah, it was, his he backyard. Had a, he, we, he had a fence on a on a deck of his pool, and he hung the green screen there. Yeah. And yeah, we we went up close. We did the close shots because if we did the wide shots, you'd just see grass. And, and I'm just, I'm just so good. thankful that, that Pat did that because oh, yeah. it makes our um, it yeah, makes our too. movie look a lot better. Mm -hmm. it, it, it like adds like a like a certain like 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 quality to it. Like mm -hmm. like it's visually different to the uh, the rest of the movie, and I like that. Okay. Um, B Port said, "Through the hourglass, I saw you. In time, you slipped away." Oh my gosh, he's doing the Take My Breath Away song, because I, uh, I knew the song from the heart, so obviously. I, yeah, he's, or he or she, or whatever, the, whatever it is, uh, they're doing the lyrics reference because of mm. Top Gun, I, I figured. Okay. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. Well, Thank you. Someone really likes Top Gun. Okay. Same as I. TX Wolf 316, any other favorite cartoon shows you love to watch? Oh, wow. Let's start with Steve. Well, I think I mentioned this before. I loved Johnny Bravo because he's got that suave sort of uh, toolbox sort of attitude to women and himself too. He doesn't care. Um, I loved watching. I loved watching Inspector Gadget, of course. Like you watched That's it. That's more of my favorites. Uh, mostly X Men. I loved watching oh, the X Men I love series. Spider Man. I remember watching as a kid. What else do I remember? Uh, Ryan, I also started Dragon Ball, like the original Japanese. And let me tell you, that's just not what Americans watch normally. Um, let me. Okay. How else do I, what else do I put it? I'll, ask, I'll put one more, and I'll move on to you guys. And when I was a kid, I loved Tom and Jerry. You know, just oh, that's, oh, that's Tom so and Jerry. Nice. Humor. Yeah. I fell asleep to that so many times. <laughs> My Slap favorite stick. cartoon to watch was definitely Inspector Gadget because it's just Don Adams repeating. Uh, Maxwell Smart from Get Smart, and it had a really good villain. I also loved uh, Tom and Jerry, of course, X Men, Spider Man. Um, I actually watched was Silver Surfer from the old. Oh. Silver Surfer was awesome, especially with Galactus in the 3D. And from Car from Nickelodeon, it'll have to be Danny Phantom. Danny Phantom. Danny oh. Phantom is mm -hmm. the yeah. best. I love it. SpongeBob from the original series. I oh, watched. I think the, the original old SpongeBob. The, old the, old SpongeBob. SpongeBob. the new the SpongeBob style. just got brain dead. But and then the. And adult stuff, it would be Beavis and Butthead, South Park, and Futurama. And <laughs> yeah, same, oh, same here. And, oh, Aqua, Hunger Teen, Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, uh, I, I, um, I loved uh, Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. Mm -hmm. That was good. Dude, that was, that was, I like Scooby-Doo. Oh, Scooby-Doo! Yeah. 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 Um, <laughs> and uh, Codename Kid Next Door. I forgot to mention but, that one. But uh, it was... It was uh, Courage of Cowardly Dog was one of my favorites. I love Courage of Cowardly Dog. I do Dog. too. Oh I, I just, God, that's I just liked how, how how weird it was. I and just, how it was scary. It was and, slow. And Ed and Eddie, I loved Ed and Eddie. Oh, yeah. I think he said except Ed and Eddie, also, but loved, Ed and Eddie was my favorite. Uh, also, loved Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles in like the original '80s, yes. Yes. 2003. Yeah, they that, consider me I, as I, Michael I watched Hinchel. a lot of '90s Spider-Man. I oh, still, I do. have it. I still have them all. I have like all the uh, the VHS tapes. Yeah, and I just, I just watch Spider-Man. I also, I'm also a big, big, really big fan of. Batman the animated series with Mark Hamill as a Joker. Every time I watch it, and I always I watch it in my basement, which is that's where we're here. I always turn off the lights to get that proper tone and mood because it's so dark and it's really good. I give credit to Mark Hamill as the Joker. He's my favorite. What show you and I watched? And I'm not. This was this was like a 3D computer generated animated show from 2000. I think it was 2000 or 1999. But Ugly Martians on Nickelodeon. But Ugly Martians. Oh, if oh, we could weird. ever do that, that would have been good, but it's too much effects. Is there any more? Yeah, okay. Um, Gasper Osser, who is going to watch Rick and Morty Season 3? I am. I am. <laughs> of course. Just I, am, I, I am. also love Rick and Morty. I have. I, I can live stream it on the TV. 
Yeah, it's simple. All right, B Port asks, Cocoa Puffs or Fruit Loops? Fruit Loops. Cocoa Puffs, sorry. Oh, oh, that's a good question. I don't. Oh, we yeah, have Food Critic over here. I'm, I love Cocoa Puffs. I like Fruit Loops. I'd go for both. You uh, know, I actually uh, do. I was like Fruity Pebbles. Got another Fruity question. Pebbles. I actually have to mix cereal sometimes. Yep. Got another question. <laughs> Chocolate uh, and fruit. Got another question. Jo Johnny says, speaking of Nickelodeon, are you guys excited for the reboots of Rocket's Modern Life, Rugrats, and Howard? Oh, I forgot. Yes. Rocco. I love Rocco. Rocco's Modern Life. I have all this. I have the whole series. I forgot. Reboot. My other favorite cartoon that I forgot to mention, I apologize, is Ren and Stimpy. Especially I saw the uncut episodes, and my God, those were not meant for kids. No, those were like, they went full adult. Through that cartoon. Rugrats I love too, honestly. Yeah, Rugrats is awesome. I love Rocco's Mountain Life because they can get a, they got away with Ren and Stimpy. They can get away with Rocco's Mountain Life. Yeah, especially the 90s shows are the more adult-oriented themes. I loved it. I also liked um, My Life as a Teenage Robot. Oh, yeah. Oh, Jenny no, was probably episode, like the episode. coolest robot I've ever seen. <laughs> Next question. Jimmy Neutron, I also forgot. Okay, I think this is another Top Gun thing. All right. Nice. B-Port Maverick. Well, Beport asks, Maverick, are you looking for a Charlotte? <laughs> <laughs> sort of, yeah. If, yeah, I think that's that makes sense. What's next? Too. What's next? Should I sing You Lost a Loving Feeling to her in a bar? Maybe. Don't yeah. do it. <laughs> <laughs> Have every guy join in with me? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, that would have been funny. Next question. Okay, is... that's silence. I have no more questions Come on. over here. Come on. I want what, more questions. Out? Yeah. The momentum's kind of slowing down. Questions. We need questions. Real questions about the film. About yeah. The film. About the film. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. YouTube, Facebook. Come on. I'm asking you, please. Yep. Well, I'll go back to a previous question because I didn't get to answer. But um. Okay. Sure. Um, the funnest scene that I would say was like, I don't have a specific scene that was like really fun because the whole movie, all together, was super fun, to like shoot and be a part of because it's just a bunch of Armada uh, theater kids running around Armada shooting and being goofballs and uh, because we're all kind of familiar with each other we're not like afraid to be kind of um, goofy and silly and creative around each other mm -hmm. so I would say the whole movie was pretty really well, pretty much really fun to shoot yeah yeah I had fun. It was really it was fun and I was kind of sad to uh, stop because it's over now. Oh, yeah, really? Amazing. I was kinda. I kinda hit it though. I'm not gonna lie. I was I was really happy when I didn't have to get up at like nine, ten a.m. in the morning. There's on the, nothing. The best in the summer. Yeah, the best moments is like when we go to uh, the park or wherever we gotta shoot. You know, whatever set, and then we uh, we're waiting for someone to show up. Like we're shooting Johnny's scene. We're shooting the canker scene. We're shooting uh, Kevin's scene, and like they show up, and they're prepared. They're dressed in costume. They love the show growing up, and they're just ready to like start acting. They're like, "Come on, let's do this!" And like they start doing the like uh, their voice or their version of the voice, and it's like, "Wow, I feel a lot of like nostalgia like watching this," you know, and like like wow, this is awesome. Yeah. Like especially the canker scene. Oh my I was God. not expecting all of them. They they like show up, like in like like exact costume. It yeah. just right. blew me away. And then um, I, I contacted uh, Alina Gandini. Mm -hmm. uh, she, for her. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you, Alina. She, uh, thank you so much. I, I contacted her because she has like a lot of like uh, cosplay stuff on her uh, Facebook page. So I was like, hey, I asked her, uh, can uh, can we borrow some wigs for the Ed and Eddie movie for the the Canker Sisters? And she was like, sure. And then like I, I like you know we went through like what kind of wigs she had. And then she brought them out. And then they put the and then she put the wigs on them. And the characters came. To and them. then like, they, 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 they came, came to light before my eyes. I was like, wow, like this is going to be good. <laughs> like this yeah. is going to be good. I, I got all excited. So like let's good. shoot this. Yep. All right. John, so, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I'll go. Johnny at Johnny two by four asks, do you happen to know what scenes had the most bloopers, scrap slash mess ups? I think mine. <laughs> no, 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 Trent, you no. nail. She okay. Don't let her kid you. No. She's like like really insecure. She nailed her, she nails her stuff on the first take. Yep. All right. Um, I think I I has I had a lot of bloopers. Zach had some bloopers. Oh, he major, did. major. He did. Zach has. Some he always bloopers. like tilted his head down, like he is trying to be like the most sinister character I ever seen. He's like, he's <laughs> he, uh, Zach, like, Zach played uh, Zach played Ralph. Ralph. Uh, but unfortunately though, there's a lot of oh 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 my god the Andy scene. Oh, uh, they they weren't there for that. Andy he played. Oh, I, he, I was yeah. working. His, I was name, his name's Andrew Pankowitz. He played Kevin. 
And uh, I originally wanted him to play Ralph, and I had some other guy in mind uh, that, like, he had some, like, broad shoulders, like, like, like ripped forearms and stuff. Like, he looked like he could beat me up. Um, <laughs> uh, but I had Andy do it, and, like, Andy, he's just kind of, like, I, like, he played a character uh, in a, one of our high school plays that was, like, similar to Kevin. Uh, so I was like, just do that, but, like, be a jerk. And he's like, and he, and he got it, and like he nailed, he, like he nailed it as Kevin. And like Andy, he is just like such like the like the sweetest guy you'll ever meet. He's a really nice guy. And um, the, the part he grabs me by the shirt and he like lifts me up and he's like, well, it's payday, dork, and then threw me on the ground. When he pulled me close to him, like I got scared. Like, like I wasn't looking at Andy anymore. It scared me because I wasn't expecting him to bring that much intensity on the first take. And then after he threw me down, there's a part I cut right after that. Um, but when he throws me down, he throws me down, this car drives by, and it's, um, a truck drives by, and then he's like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> like, he breaks character, and he's like, are you okay? Um, yeah, <laughs> I messed up on the on the, uh, the part where we all got the jawbreakers, and I tried to do the, the, the masticate part. I kept messing up so much, I'm like, oh my god. Also, um, the park scene, you kind of screwed up your lines too a bit here and there. Oh, yeah, I did yeah. too. Right? We I all, mean, I mean, all, all did. It's, it's, not a perfect, it's, it's not a perfect movie. Exactly. No, another thing, um, the actually real quick fact was when we did the playground scene, um, when you see the camera shots on me, it actually started raining. He wasn't there. I, me, oh, me. Joe, who played Johnny Two by Four and Preston here, that day, it started to rain. There was okay, so we get there and um, Steve was like at work or something. No, I was coming. I was delivering a package. He was delivering a package or something, and like he 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 had he he uh he was uh running late, so we were already there, and so I'm just like we'll just shoot Ryan stuff, you know. Uh, this is Ryan, uh, Double D. So we'll just shoot Double D stuff, you know. So uh, I start filming Double D stuff, and then it starts raining, like it starts pouring. But it, but it came at like the like the funniest parts where he's like, "Why'd you do it, Eddie? So Why? With the Why yeah, with, with, with the rain. Why? Why? So like that whole scene, I just kind of put like a blue filter on it, and then like put some rain and thunder sound effects in the background, and um that that kind of like, kind of like made it seem a little more consistent. Yep. So then like when you like so then it kind of tricks your eyes a little bit. Like you think you're looking at rain, but really you're not. You know, and then sometimes you see the rain, and then it it but it, 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 it fit. Speaking of the park scene, I remember, um, I don't know if this was a blooper or not, but I'm pretty sure it was real. The second time when I run, run up that playscape or whatever it was, and I actually landed, and Hits it head. hit my head, actually. That um, was a real hit. I'll yeah, I added, I, actually, a, I added a cowbell sound effect. The, the second time Ed runs up the playscape and then goes down that sliding pole thingy majig, he falls down, and then he, like, Hits his head. I had a cowbell sound to it. Dum. And actually, I'll, I'll be honest with you. When I went home and went to bed that night, I had a humongous headache. I felt like, I felt like I, my whole world was shaking. To be honest, it felt so weird. Well, sorry but about that. I felt I, I wasn't too bad. I was okay. I, um, I fell from the uh, that DNA strand looking like thing. I actually fell on like. I actually, I, I actually landed on my back. And yeah, I was just got to brush it off like nothing ever happened. Okay. Next question. Right. Monstro City said hi. Well, hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome to the Q and A. Yep. Um, B Poor asked, "What city are you in?" Uh, we're from Michigan. Of course. Don't hunt us down and try and find us. No. We, don't know. <laughs> we don't need that. Um, Armida, Michigan. Armida. Yep. It's actually not a city. It's a town. Okay. B Poor also asked, "Will you still do reviews in college?" Uh, like uh, like. Like reviews of like collectibles and movies and stuff, or, or the, that kind of stuff. Uh, probably not. I, I no, probably will start. Pro probably not. Maybe. I'll start I'm not sure about me unless I'm off duty or. I'll whatever start whatever. on movie reviews if I have time. I'll try to upload some kind of content, mm -hmm. but uh, it'll probably be like more theater and like acting kind of stuff. Yep. Any more? Okay. TX Wolf three sixteen asked. Did anyone watch Ah uh, Real Monsters? <gasps> yeah, yes. I did. I have the game for Genesis. I play it a lot. So yeah, that's I remember good. watching that show. That it, show so uh, goofy, what, what's that one? It. What's that one blue, that purple one with the gremlin ears? He's my favorite. Ickes. Ickes. I like the one with the eyeball the hands. The eyeball hands? Oh, yeah, that yeah, dude's I awesome. That. I remember that show just tripped me out. I just kind of sit there and go. <laughs> have that look on your face where <laughs> you're just staring into the Twilight Zone or something. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was... It was, that was, yeah, I remember that show. <laughs> it was good. I'm following my words. Any more Mon Facebook stuff? No. Nope. Not at the moment? Just uh, shit. Just Monstro shit. City asked, 
Well said. Hi, Monster of Bloodbath Lagoon. Will you start doing lesser known Shh. McFarland Toys review? Uh, must not really pertaining to that Ed Eddie movie, but um, probably not. I don't have time anymore. You gotta study for your I know. You gotta get goals. It's done now. What not? Yeah. I have no more time. This this movie was was it, you know, that was that was it, boom, you know. And 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 on a high note, you know. Alright, Explorer Exploration Michigan said hi. 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 We got more people joining. Oh sweet. Oh right. Should we get the Facebook one for now? Like man! This is pretty cool. We're running out one view for Facebook right now. Should we cut it for the Facebook live and keep going with YouTube? Uh what time are we at? Two twenty. Two twenty. We'll stop at like. Uh, two forty-five. Yeah, two forty-five. All right. Because we need to be home by three. So for Facebook. At three so, so our Facebook should we have Facebook live? Um, are Facebook people still watching? Or there's one. One. one? Oh, oh, oh! We got one more question. From, okay. From well, let's wait till we're all done. Giant two, giant two by four. It says, "Can you guys whistle the theme song?" Oh. All right. That would be my job. So. <laughs> He's good at whistling. So if you guys want me to whistle it, I mean, if our YouTube viewers want me to whistle the song, or Facebook, or whoever. We'll, we'll just do it, right? Just right. do it. Add, add Nettie. Thanks. T T X Wolf three sixteen said, "Dude, that sounded just like Shaggy." Well, he's been working on it for. I, 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 do, I, I, do, so I do I do I do impressions all around the house. Yep. Like man, I could really use an ice cream sandwich. Yeah, Raggy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well another uh, Top Gun thing. Uh, here you go. Beatport, whistle port. at me when I get to your ship. I think that's the one, right? What? I don't know what that is. Let me see whistle that. at me when I get it to your ship. It says, whistle at me when I get to your ship. That's the question, though. I don't know what ship I'm on yet. I'm waiting until, I don't know, I think after boot camp. I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Watch but Tom Good, thanks so. for the comment. There you go. All right, well, we're out of comments at the YouTubes. Do you, I mean, we should, like, share, besides everyone on YouTube or Facebook asking us questions, we should, uh, we should, um... Didn't we uh, ask ourselves some? Yeah, and we should say, what about, like, the hardest part we ever done, or... Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's all right if we can ask ourselves questions. <laughs> <laughs> I do it. Okay, I do it. Uh, so, Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ryan. What was the hardest part for you playing Double D? Oh, my, my. The <laughs> hardest part of me playing Double D, that would be the... T Part, probably my voice because I tried so hard to match the one from the show, which is at St. Vincent, but I couldn't because my voice it can't go too high. I lost that one part where I had to do this seriously. That was you probably like the, the squeaky toy. I saw, <laughs> seriously? <laughs> That's like a ragdoll combined with this dog toy. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, Double um, D gets he's got like the pitches. You know? his, sometimes yeah, he gets pitches. really high, sometimes he gets really low. I also. Sometimes. It also was probably um, most of my lines I had to memorize a lot. Also, the one other part about playing Double D that was kind of hard for me was probably <laughs> I'd say the shorts I had to wear. It was oh, shrunk yeah. and then long shrunk. I'm like, dear God, oh, that man. hurt. So Steve, well, how, how about you, man? Well, the hardest part honestly was um, well, apart from me, my hair being long and short, to be honest. Um, honestly, nothing to be honest. Wow. Nothing was too hard. It's just like, hey, you just gotta do the, you just gotta bring out the inner idiot in you. Gotta bring out Ed. Gotta, you know, get, almost be like the same person, but not quite. The hardest part for me, like directing you, was trying not to make you seem mentally challenged. Yeah. But like stupid. Yeah. I had but, to but, act but not, but not over the top stupid. But like. Yeah, I had to keep like, it simple. Yeah, you know that, that like as a director, that was kind of hard. 
And um, also like as like a. If I may add, I mean also adding the like doing the movement like almost like how Ed does like how he is arched. High like, energy. Nine, high yeah, energy. Nine, I had to keep. Top, the... It was pretty tough, but obviously nothing was harder than that. Yeah, and I had to keep the elbows up while I'm running. Do, doing some cool. camera stuff was kind of hard, like because I'm trying to oh, make myself right seem shorter. Um, like so, like if you notice, like there, there's parts where we're talking, like I'll like um, I'll cut the frame off right there above their heads, and then like for me, I'll leave a lot of space. So it seems like I'm a, I'm a little shorter. Mm -hmm. uh, another question from Joe from Facebook says, I believe you use music from the show. Is that correct? If Wait. so, was there any risk of the movie being taken down by copyright? Okay, so here's what I did to prevent that. I uploaded a like a 30-minute video called the, the Soundtrack of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. And, I, and all the music I ripped from the internet, I put on a, put in one video... And uh, and I was waiting like a few days to see if like I would get some kind of YouTube copyright notices, mm -hmm. and I never did. Uh, so so uh, watch well, you get so one was, after this video. So I was like, it was, so it's gonna be. So I, was, I figured that'd probably be safe enough. Um, how how long did you do it? Wait for the copyright? Uh, like a couple days. Oh. A couple days. Cause normally, how fast would they do that? Like uh, like a couple like maybe a day. Oh, wow. Like, you'll get some notices, like, something like, this video's blocked in these countries, America. <laughs> Obviously. I remember the, um, I remember that science video that we had to make for science Yeah, that got blocked, yep. Remember, because he used, like, like Germany Punk. because of Daft Punk, I'm like, that's yeah. crap. So, uh, I did that to prevent that, and, um, what was, was there, like, a different part to music? Yeah, it is a music from the show. Um, it's similar to the show, but it actually came from the, the video game, Misadventures. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because I'm they're, buying that game. Yeah. That's fun. Okay. Um, Exploration Michigan asked, how long did it take you to film the whole movie? The film... Uh, there are many parts. Uh, approximately two months. Two around, months. Two months uh, tops. Early please. June to like late July. Like, was it late July? Late July. Mid to late July. Mid to late July. Mid to late July. Dude. Because we had different schedules and sometimes filming had a hold because of that schedule. And... um. What else caused it? Like it was, some people can't show up, some people can't do this, and we had to improvise. Yes. Yeah, there there would be uh, days like uh, we film Wednesdays and Sundays. That, that that was filming day, Wednesdays and Sundays, and like Sundays we would film from like eight thirty a.m. to like eight p.m. Long days. Yeah, like, long, long, long days. Two two really long days. With only like an hour break mm -hmm. for lunch or whatever we had to do. And um, but like uh, but when we weren't filming, that's when I was doing a lot of the editing. So the editing was like 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 um not too worrisome because it's like I had a lot of time to edit but filming though it was like making sure who could come out contacting them like the canker sisters that's when we needed six people to be there at once usually it's just four you know like the Eds and then like Ralph or the Eds and like and Sarah you know um but like the cankers we need to make sure three people uh, and us were available, mm -hmm. and that was that was a really hard one to schedule. Yeah, that's like six people, and that, to see if their schedules are clean, and because if one peop uh, one person couldn't show up, then the whole scene was kind of pushed back, and then that's just gonna increase on how long the movie is going to take us to film. So. Yeah. So, and luckily, we were able to get every character from the show. In the movie, yeah, yeah that's yeah. the best thing. Without the care, without like, it was, it was just like us three ads. It wouldn't, and no one else. It wouldn't be like Eddie. It would kind of be just those three, and it wouldn't make that much sense without more characters. In writing wise, I wrote it in a way where we don't need the every character from the show every single day. Um, I wrote it like, um, like where they got they got some lines, you know, but like so it's like the ads are going to the candy store, okay. So as we go to the candy store, we just keep running in the more characters. We run in the Ralph, you know, we run in the, we first run in the Sarah, then we run in the Ralph, then Kevin. And um, so we don't need the, we don't need the actors there all day. We just need them for a few hours. So uh, it'll take us like two hours to like film a two minute scene. So then I, I, I yeah, it's like, it, it's uh, excruciating long hours um, just yeah. to film a two minute scene because there's like so many like, Elements. El yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Monstrous City asked, "What film or fan film will you uh, will be next? Because right now you're doing an amazing job with your films." Well, thank you. Thank you. Well, 
like we're kind of done at the moment. Um, we're taking a big we're break. We're taking a, taking a, very a take, big break. Very big break. Except me. He he wants to do a Captain Melonhead. I'm going to do Captain Melonhead. A Captain Melonhead spinoff. So that that way he doesn't need Double D Head or Eddie. Like maybe we can make an appearance if we have time. Oh, we could. Yeah, so, if somewhere you guys somewhere around there. Yeah, but like, it'll, but it'll mainly just be like, uh, it'll just be Johnny. It'll just be Johnny and with all, the other kids. If I can round them up, probably not Kevin. And remember, yeah, write it like, like. Yeah, I short scenes. Of course, but um, yeah, it's gonna be Captain Melonhead and Splinter, and then for the villain. Uh, I'm actually I don't know because I know uh, Eddie played the villain but he's not going to be there so I'm just going to make a random villain like kind of like Mysteria the Mysteri Kevin or something if Kevin can be there or just make like a mysterious villain that <laughs> I'll be actually laughing if it was one of the if it was Double D even though I would, I'll be there directing all that but I could do it I can pull it off alright Bport asks have you ever ate gum off the floor Oh, oh, are you talking about the scene in the movie where he ate gum? Uh, I asked the same question. No, actually, that was a stunt piece of gum. Uh, it was. Stunt. So, yeah. like, so the gum you saw on the quarter, that was actually on the floor. Then he rips it off, and then you see, like, the different, like, where it cut. He puts a piece of gum in his mouth. Totally fresh piece of gum that he chewed up and then put in his hand. So, so then it looks like, but when you cut it all together, it looks like he's, like, just doing that, you know? No, the guy would kind of Steve. Don't just. Is it inappropriate? Don't be a dude. No, 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 no. The live on Facebook's kind of going down. You I guys. don't. Steve, just read the comments. That's all they need. That's it. I mean, we could keep it up and just. Yeah, just ask questions from YouTube. All right. There's no. Well, there's none so far? No. Hold on, let me read the Facebook comments. Yeah, Michael Deshaun Durham said it was really great to see that in live action. I hope you guys do some more of them. Well, that's the problem. These two. Are going. He's going to, to the Navy. He's going to college. I'm going to college, but um, I'm actually going to do a cap. Like I said, I'm going to be making a Captain Mountainhead spinoff for Johnny Two by Four, and somehow if these guys can have time to make a cameo, they can pop in. Yeah. All right. Bport asked. Is the guy on the bike in the movie mean in real life? No, he's no. the sweetest person no. okay. in real life. That guy, I, I, I already uh, told you, uh, I already said it somewhere in this video, but um, his name is Andrew Pankowitz. Nicest guy, all right? Um, uh, I worked with him for like like a few minutes trying to find the character. Um, so so uh, like uh, he played a character that was kind of like a, like an like a idiot, kind of uh, douchey, Sorry for the language, kind of character. Um, so then I was like, "Do that, but be a jerk." And he's like, "Oh, okay." And then he found it, and um, but like, there's a blooper, okay, where he grabs me and he goes, "Well, it's payday, dork," and he says it. And it's actually in the film, but I cut it before the blooper actually happened. So he grabs me, and says, "It's payday, dork." When he said that, like, he had so much intensity, it, like, it scared me. I was really taken back by it. And then he throws me to the ground, and then after he throws me to the ground, like two seconds after that, this truck drives by, and he says, he breaks character, and he's like, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> but in real life, he is so nice, he's, he's super polite. I, I was really shocked when Preston, Ke this is Preston, casted him as Kevin because he's so nice in real life, like, he's really polite. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I originally I didn't want to cast him as Kevin. I originally had him uh, casted for Rolf, but the guy I wanted to play Kevin, he was he uh, he, he had some big shoulders, big muscly forearms like this. But he wasn't a part of the uh, the drama club, and um, he unfortunately couldn't do it, and he never got back with me uh, on uh, on doing it. You know, I just needed him for like an hour or so. Who was that? Uh, Kevin um, Austin. Oh yeah, Austin. yeah yeah. Like that guy looked like he, he that guy looked yeah, like he yeah, beat I me up, it, and like. Uh, then I was like, oh man, and I like decided to put Andy there, because I like had this like vision, like I could probably make Kevin seem like some kind of like '90s punk, like 19 late '90s punk, you know, just kind of like riding right, yeah. right on a bike, beating people up, taking money. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Sub Zero asked, take that crap, put it in the library. Congrats, now you have a smart crap dishy games. I don't know what, what the did hell he that say? Is. What? 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 Who? Wait a minute. Take. Take. That doesn't make any sense, does it? No. 
obviously. I think you might be on the wrong Q and A then. Probably. Yeah. Probably. Okay. This is for Ed and Ed. Uh, we got another. Uh, B port. Do you like the no, word? No, no, no. We got. We got. Never mind. Uh, TX Wolf three sixteen S. Hey, was it hard to get Plank to do your show? Oh, uh, like here? This Plank? No. Oh, okay. Well, well, listen. All right. There was a day. I don't know if you noticed in the movie, but the plank in the one scene with Johnny is a totally different plank than the plank in the other scene with Johnny. This is the real plank here. I <laughs> forgot to bring him one day. That was my mistake. So we had to make a totally different plank. That was plank number two, or I call him the stunt plank, or planks. Uh, so uh, luckily, I, I found a piece of wood at my house. That this was, is that, actually that, that was the exact this is, size of this. This is I found this in my house, and my dad cut me a piece of wood. He goes, what are you going to do with it? So I brought the Sharpie and showed him, and my dad, no, I brought the Sharpie to the park. Later, my dad's like, what did you do with the wood? And I showed him. He goes, oh. <laughs> uh, he so liked it. He actually so, uh, did. And it was actually in uh, Steve's uh, car of the day. He was delivering that package. So then, uh, then uh, the, um, Joseph, the guy that played Johnny, he had to leave uh, pretty soon. So I'm just like, we have to film your stuff. Uh, so we're going to use the stunt plank. The stunt plank. So, yeah, so we use that plank right. for that scene. B-Port asks, do you like the word amasticate? Masticate. Me? Masticate. Me? Uh, well, um, I don't know I was, that uh, like, I, I wrote that know. scene, um, it, that scene originally wasn't in the script when I wrote it. It was um, just an extra five minutes sort of it But, like, the, the movie needed a, a smoother transition, like, and uh, we needed, we need to see some jawbreakers. Like, throughout this whole movie, they talk about getting jawbreakers, but you never see any jawbreakers, so we needed that. And Double D, he's the man with logic, and he doesn't have a lot of uh, over-the-top comedic moments. So I was like, you know what? Let's um, let's let's write something that's funny for Double D. So then I uh, took reference from the uh, Big Picture Show, like uh, the, that whole Sexton scene. So uh, I wrote that, and they mm -hmm. loved it, and we filmed it. Yeah. Okay, Sub Zero, put that crap in microwave. Something amazing. I think. Your sentences are not making very much sense. Put that crap in the microwave and make something amazing. Okay. Well, um, I'm sorry, but. B Port asked, "Do you, uh, did you guys have a crush on Mari? Marie? Marie. 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 The character itself. Um. Who the heck is Marie? Marie. That, that was, was Kanker. That was the Kanker sisters. Um. And, but growing up, watching the show, probably. Mm -hmm. Mostly sure growing up. I, I don't know. I didn't bother. Just no. watched it. Didn't I mean, I, I was a kid. You know, I didn't really, yeah, kid. Didn't really care. I think I had like a crush on some other cartoon characters when I was yeah, a kid. Yeah, I mean, it was for a cartoon character. It would have been Naz. It was a... Uh, <laughs> oh, no, my God. You that's guys are... Cause she who has, some... has crushes on cartoon I think, No, if I think, it was a live action character, I think, mine I was think the... Uh, I think there came a time when I was like 11, and I was like, why don't the Eds just like... Except that the exactly. women want them. No, but, know? yeah, but... But then I'm, like, thinking, like, how bad do they look in real life? Pretty much. I'm another, like, I don't know. Another thing I remember in the episode, the day the Ed stood still, double, uh, Naz kisses Double D, I'm like, ah, oh, ha, ha, you can't, I'm like, good. But still, it's, it's a question I've asked myself, like, why don't they just accept it? Why, yeah, why don't <laughs> they just accept them, but... I don't know, man. That's but, like, that's, 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 like, how funny it is, because it's, like, they're, they're kids. And that's based off and, of Danny Antonucci himself. And, like, um... Like, also, you notice in our movie, we're 18 years old. It's 2017, we're 18 years old, okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. sure we don't we don't care about getting chicks or making money. Well, making money, but, we're like, making, not making obviously. some serious money. We're still trying to get candy. We're grown men. I'm like, come on, let's get us some. And we're <laughs> going to get jawbreakers. Yeah, when you're 18, that means... A you know? Different. When you're 18, you, you have a job, and you, could just, you just... You have a job. It's like they don't even drive. They just walk. They just walk because it's right down the street. Right down the street. <laughs> See, they they never grow they, they never grow up. They're uh, they're 18 years old and they're acting like little. They're, they're still the same, you know. That's 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 because Eddie has that one track mind, and that's uh that that's that's why I wrote because it's hilarious. And then yeah. at the end of the movie, they're talking about sneaking into a rated R movie. They're 18 years old. They can just buy a ticket and go see a rated R movie, but they got to sneak into it because Eddie, <laughs> because they're cheapskates. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Bport asks. That guy likes the girl from Teenage Robot. He already admitted it. Oh, LOL. That I is did. you. <laughs> I did. She's pretty... I'd say if they ever made like a robot of her, I'd actually buy it. Like, That's my robot! <laughs> Ryan, you're weird. Oh, God. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, oh, no. 
Don't say it. Please don't. No. We all know what you think. All know. right. Any more questions or no more? No. Wait, is there any more? No. Uh, so wait. Before you can be her C three P O. Oh, very funny. Very funny. Star Wars and cartoons is not well. They actually made a Star Wars cartoon jokes on me, but that would that cannot even mix. Cause Star, cause car, cause the Clone Wars was on Cartoon Network. My Life's Teenage Robot was on Nickelodeon. Both are rivals. That will not work. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Getting all technical with the cartoons. Exactly, yeah. I know my cartoons. I know any more channels. Any more? Uh, I got a question for you guys. Yeah. Did yeah. you guys stay around till the after the credits and see the Courage of Cowardly Dog uh, cameo? Mm hmm. Did you guys? Did anyone? He's very proud. Yeah, of including, <laughs> yeah, including you guys. Plus, we need more views on Facebook. Please ask us questions. But Don't if any of you guys uh, seen the cameo at the end, if not, we'll just tell you right now. It's Courage the Cowardly Dog. He got the idea. Anymore? Okay. Sub Zero with another not making sense. Okay. Three, take that crap and put them down. I don't know, man. Another sentence that don't bother. makes no sense. Well, just don't read his garbage anymore. Okay. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, man. Yeah, we don't want to say anything. We need that more from other people. Like, if you don't have anything nice to say, just don't say it all, please. We don't need it. Is, it, is, is he being nice? I don't know. Well, I have no idea that's if a he's question. like insulting us. But so, it, try it, to describe what you're some saying. Slain. Some so, slain. or something. No, we're from our meat. Well, we go to uh, school at our meat. We, we, we don't, we don't understand slain. slain like that. Come on, let's, let's get some questions going. We're going. We're ending this in five minutes, everyone. Five minutes. So, five if you have minutes. any questions, say it now. If you have any questions, some say some it now. If, at, if Anything you want to know about the movie. Anything you want to know about the movie. We're here. Yep. If we don't have questions by then, I'm going to go on Facebook Messenger and Snapchat and, uh, and say, do you have any questions if you guys missed the live feed? Yeah. Yes, he is. TX Wolf 316. Yes, All right. Is. What's his question? He said Sub-Zero is nuts, and I said yes. Yeah, I agree. He's, he, he sounds nuts. Making no sense. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> We're waiting. Oh, oh okay. V Port, would you spike your hair up with three strands like Ed? Eddie. 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 No, Eddie has the three strands. Ed, Ed has a buzz cut. Honestly. Ed has the buzz cut. Double D, we don't know. Well, we still I, don't know. He, he has longer hair in the back. We actually, we actually, I actually played the game uh, Lunchroom Rumble on Cartoon Network, and he actually takes his head off and he has long hair. That is actually uh, Danny Antonucci in the uh, animator said that's that was actually false. Okay. Like. They just try to throw you off guard. Basically. They just try to like, throw you off guard. Surprise you, but it was like a prank, uh, but like a real scam, like Eddie would do. Would I spike my hair like that? No. Who would? <laughs> like, uh, I feel so stupid in public. Like, we, like we, 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 when we go out, we're like dressed up like Ed and Eddie. He's got the monobro on. Uh, she's sitting there with like a phone, like ready to film. And we're at the gas station, like, okay, we're gonna. Film some stuff here, Zeph, I'm with you guys. Mm -hmm. And then I got, like, three hairs standing up. And I have I my purple socks. So I have a lot of purple socks we, we, on. We, we feel like, we look like idiots. I felt so stupid. I felt really stupid. But in the end, we all look stupid, so. But, but in the end, we made a great fan film. Yeah, well, yeah. We did. I mean, it wasn't perfect, but, but still. it's probably the most faithful one on YouTube. Live yep. action. Mm-hmm. Next one. Gamer Joe Joer. Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Ask us any questions. That has to do with the film. <laughs> yes, <laughs> add that in. <laughs> That's the way. No. What's to say? It. Oh. Uh, TX Wolf three sixteen. Did anyone watch the real Ghostbusters cartoon? Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. I did. I'll be honest with you, that show some episodes of. As uh, I, I, I started watching it. I think it was on Netflix. It's on Netflix. To be honest, actually, they're pretty darn scary. Like for the time being, <laughs> the Boogeyman <laughs> comic. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, not joking, I'm telling, I'm not joking I'm telling you guys right now the scariest episode. And yeah, it is really scary. It's called the Boogeyman Comet. Watch it. it you'll but get scared. It's not. It's not bad. It's actually not. I mean, for kids, it looked like it can scare them like, like at kids the death. Like, but adults kids, are like like back in the '80s, they had like the real Ghostbusters. What else did they had scary? Well, then in the '90s, they had like Goosebumps. They had Are You Afraid of the Dark? Um, then they had Courage the Cowardly Dog, and. 
That only ran for two seasons. Yeah, yeah well, pretty much. And then Crazy Courage and Carly Dog only ran for two seasons. And so we just watched a bunch of replays or something. Yeah, that's and I like, um, my favorite episode I actually watched of Are You Afraid of the Dark was the tale of the ghastly grinner. That was like the scariest episode I ever seen because it's this creepy clown who looks like the Joker, only he's a jester, and he looks so creepy. Yep, next one. And Kurt was also creepy as well. Next question, or anything? Okay, Gamer Jojoer, can you give me a shout out? Shout out shout to you. A shout out? Gamer Jojoer. Yeah, I just. For his channel, shout out. P, uh, B Port asked, if Jimmy were real, would you be okay with hanging uh, with hanging with him? Who? Jimmy, Jimmy, as in. The character? The character? With, how, how, do you, how do you feel, Trinity? If Jimmy was real, would you hang out with him? Probably. <laughs> you know, Mason did a really phenomenal job. As he brought Jimmy to He work. literally came on to the location where we're at like, like, and like brought. In the clothing uh, that, that, that I wanted, you know, he w didn't wear long sleeves. It's 95 degrees. I didn't want, you know, be crazy. So, um, so it was like it was like modernized and updated. Um, he did he did a pretty uh, faithful uh, voice. Like if that voice um, of Jimmy. Grew up to be like what 15, 16 around there. Yeah. So much. then he 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 nailed the part pretty good, and um, what I probably wouldn't hang out with him because Jimmy being because being faithful. He uh, Danny Ashenuti said that he is uh, the, that guy that's always hanging out with the girls. You know, playing dolls with the girls, and he like really uh, enjoys the company of, of like the girls and doesn't really hang out with guys. So he probably, by choice, wouldn't hang out with me or us, mm -mm. but he'd, you know, hang out with girls. Yep. We'll do maybe a couple more questions and we'll call good. Yep. Okay. Monster City. In Ed, Ed, and Eddie film, watch, uh, which car did you steal or whose could it be in the show? This is my brother's car. That's his act. That's press. That, 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 that was my, that was my real car. When, when, I, when I wrote the script, I originally wanted a sports car. But nobody I knew had a sports car. I thought you did. And, well, my Corvette was full of like cat poop. Good uh, <laughs> mention. Good no, mention. No, well, because my dad, like an idiot, left the window down, and then cats got in there. A cat got in there and pooped on the seat. Oh god. And I'm like, I'm not driving it. Ah, uh, well, it. I'm gonna have to clean that so up. Then I, so, then I, so then I, so uh, then I rewrote it, <laughs> like my car. Yeah. You know, because sports I, utility vehicle. So you know, that Eddie, kind of represents Eddie being a klepto, or you know, just being greedy, thinking about himself and jawbreakers yeah. and <laughs> yep what else we got okay explore exploration michigan it's my birthday today happy, happy birthday. birthday enjoy it tx wolf 316 does anyone remember the freak zoid cartoon <gasps> or pinky and the brain, brain. pinky cartoon. and the brain oh freakazoid that was oh man that was my jam i used freakazoid was there, awesome there's, there, there's one time i shaved my head like this, oh. because I wanted to be like freaking Zoid. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, like I don't think he ever shaved his head in the cartoon. I don't remember that, but I was really little, and I just like took some trimmers and just went you, because I was like freaking Zoid. <laughs> <laughs> um, like, for me, for Pinky and the Brain, me and Joe, who plays Giant Two by Four, we always recite quotes. So I can do the Brain voice right now. No, Pinky, we do not rule the world yet until tonight. And Pinky goes, gee, Brain, what yeah, are we going right. to do? Okay, next. Roll the world, Pinky. All right. B-Port asks, so one drives a car, another a ship, and one drives a robot. I do not drive a robot. I drive a car. No. It, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So uh, if anyone has any more questions, uh, just comment. we're already over the, uh, the, the time limit we wanted. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, if anyone has any more questions, just ask questions, serious questions. Um, and uh, we're going to end this. So, uh, yeah. We're all signing thanks up. Thanks for watching. Oh, we got some more here. Wait, wait, wait. All right, we'll take this last Deport one. Beport says, thanks for the movie. Thank you for watching. Thank you, Thank you for watching. watching. Thank you for us. Beport, you did a good job. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, <laughs> you Thank you for support. Thank you so much. All right. All right, all right. that's it. All right. uh, thanks for watching, guys. Yeah, uh, watching. Uh, and, and supporting the movie oh, and everything. Uh, yeah, yeah. If, okay, if anyone on Facebook missed this, ask me. Bye! Text me questions, <laughs> all right? Just text me questions. See ya.